everyone, my name is Pond and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today I'm gonna be oh hello. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to earn thou hundreds of thousands of bells, but it only costs you two thousand miles. That's right guys, two thousand miles. Without further ado, Let's get straight into the video. So first step is to get 2,000 miles with the Nook Miles program. What you need to do is head to just anything and do it until you get 2,000 miles. Now, keep in mind every single time you do this trick, you need those 2,000 miles, but it's worth it. So I'm just going to quickly do a few of these and then we'll get right to it. And there we go, 2,000 miles. So, once you've got your miles, you're going to head over to Tom Nook's tent. And once you're in there, head to the Nook stop. And go to Redeem Nook Miles. Then you're going to get yourself a Nook Miles ticket. Before you head to the airport, head back to your house. Open up your um, pockets. And hit Put in Storage on pretty much any items that aren't tools or other essential items. Basically anything that's non-essential. Because I'll tell you it just now, every single empty space you have in your inventory is going to be worth 8,000 bells. Now, that's gonna rock up really, really quickly. Head to your island's airport and speak to Orville. When he gives you this list of options, click I want to fly. When he asks you where you want to go, you want to click use new Nook Miles ticket. And after that last set of instructions, which is really up to you, he'll save your game and then you'll be off to the island. Okay, now you're on the island. Depending on which island you're on, you might not even have to do this next step. But by the looks of things, I'm going to need to do this next step. Which is going to take a while, but it's definitely worth it. Get out your axe and chop down and uproot every tree on the island. That's right, every tree. Don't leave a single one up behind. And you're also going to want to start gathering the materials. I'll speed up this footage, but basically just start clearing out everything. trees now I'm gonna get you to go around and clear out all the flowers and weeds don't uproot the flowers just pick the buds that's all you need to do you don't actually have to uproot the flowers that would take up way too much inventory space <laughs> on your lower floor just make sure all the all the wharf all the wharf beetles whatever these ones are on the rocks make sure they're all gone and make sure it's after 7 p.m. this only works after 7 p.m. Tarantula! No! <laughs> Finally got it to work after all that time and I bloody die. <laughs> don't worry guys, you don't actually have to go back to your home island after you get caught by a tarantula. Just don't come at them from the top side. Try come at them from the bottom or that'll happen to you. But this is the basic premise of what you have to do to get a bunch of tarantulas to spawn. And once you do get all those tarantulas to spawn, then go back, make sure you- Ah, oh, it happened again! <laughs> yeah, tarantulas should start spawning more often than just a regular island. 
Once that starts to happen, catch them all, head back to Timmy and Tommy on your home island once your inventory's full of them, and then you'll be hundreds of thousands of bells richer. But anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't need footage of me running around for another 40 minutes looking around for tarantulas. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos and much, much more. I've got I'm curr I've currently got a video in the works that I think a few of you might enjoy. But other than that, I'm going to go for now. Oh, look, here's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, it fell in the river. No. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, thank you again so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.